Thursday three, three things we pray about for a week. This week it's three cities, Cleveland, Ohio, Portland, Oregon, and New York, New York. I have a verse or two from the book of Zechariah for us to pray. But before we get there, I wanna give you a little bit of a background. The nation of Israel was a strong nation, strong economy, safe cities. The Lord gave them some instructions. He says, you have to have a true justice that's in their court systems. You have to show mercy and compassion to one another. And you can't oppress the poor, the fatherless, the widows, or the foreigners. But Zechariah reveals that the people were stubborn. They blocked up their ears. They would not listen. And then God sends, sends judgment. The whole nation eventually goes into captivity. And the whole nation was a place of desolation, no longer with a thriving economy and safe streets. Well, 70 years later, the word of the Lord comes to Zechariah and says this in Zechariah chapter 7, verses 4 and 5. This is what the Lord Almighty says. Once again, men and women of ripe old age will sit in the streets of Jerusalem, each of them with cane in hand because of their age. The city streets will be filled with boys and girls playing there. I believe that's the vision. A place where the kids could go out into the streets and play baseball again, to throw a football, to play hopscotch or even just jump rope. Safe cities where the elderly can walk to the store in safety and return home. I believe this is God's vision for our cities. When we walk in his will, according to his plan and his desires. You know, wouldn't it be great to have cities where children can play in the streets again? Boy, wouldn't it be great where there can be a lot of laughter and smiling and joy once again? Let's pray out of the book of Zechariah chapter seven for our cities, for justice, for mercy, for compassion, for no oppression, streets where the elderly can walk safely and our children can play in safety. Let's keep praying and let's keep walking with God. Lord bless you.